welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying to recreate this dress I found on the BuzzFeed shopping page nearly four years ago. So we're talking pandemic time frame. Now you may be asking why have I not recreated this dress yet and that's a very valid question. The reason is because I wasn't doing anything related to YouTube about four years ago so I didn't really have a reason to recreate it. But now I do because not only do I have a YouTube channel, I also have this pair of sheets that I found that I think will perfectly replicate it. Now these are Ralph Lauren sheets, so I don't know if that makes any difference, but they are pretty nice quality. We're gonna try our best, despite the fact that they aren't an identical match, to see how close we can get this. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the inspiration behind this dress and what my plan is with recreating it. As far as patterns go, I have thought through this project for a little bit, and I think what I'm gonna do is use a pattern that I ended up buying at Walmart, simply because the silhouette is fairly similar to the original design. Now you may be thinking, okay, we had the silhouette like this, but where is the draping? Now that's a great question. Um, I'm thinking of using this as just a basic bodice, and then we will drape the material on top. Now for the skirt, I'm not super thrilled with the skirt. I don't think it's flared enough like the original design. Here's what it looks like, just for reference again. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is pair this with a skirt I used in a different project from the Anthea dress pattern located on moodpatterns.com. What you will notice in the original design for this dress is that there is pleating around the entire circumference of the skirt. So I'm gonna cut the panels extra wide so I can have enough room to do some nice thick pleats. That being said, I am gonna go ahead and lay the pattern pieces out and we will go ahead and start cutting stuff out. Okay guys, so now that all the panels are cut out, let's go ahead and start working on the skirt. These are all the skirt panels laid out except the center back panels because I couldn't fit them in my camera space. So I ended up cutting two extra center fronts just to widen the skirt out because the original design had loads of pleats. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start sewing these together and I will meet you back once we are finished. attached so far and all I have left is to add the center back panels to the skirt and then once that's done I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the bodice temporarily because I'm not sure how wide the waistband of the bodice is gonna be until I complete it then once the bodice is finished I'll go ahead and pleat the skirt so it lines up all right guys that being said let's go ahead and finish the skirt and then we shall move on to the bodice <music> Okay guys, this is what the skirt looks like, and if you look, there's a large amount of room, which will be perfect for when it comes to pleating, but anyway, now that I have finished the skirt, I'm gonna go ahead and move on temporarily to sewing the bodice together. Okay guys, so this is editing me, and it's been a couple months since making this dress. Now I've lost some of the footage describing the bodice, so I'm gonna do my best to go ahead and piece together what videos I lost. But suffice it to say, now that we've completed sewing the skirt together, the next thing we're gonna do is cut out the lining pieces for the bodice, and then I'm gonna go ahead and work to create those pleated drapes across the center front of the bodice, and then from there we'll finally attach all of it together. Okay guys, so this is what the front of the bodice looks like and it may seem a bit confusing, but what I pretty much did is I layered a variety of panels and my plan is to pin them all in place and then to sew around them so it fits the original shape of the center bodice and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the rest of the bodice panels. <laughs> guys so I went ahead and basted everything on the bodice like so this is what the seam looks like on the other side and now I'm gonna go ahead and trim everything and then start attaching these pieces to the rest of the bodice
Okay guys, so here is the lining cut out and this is what the bodice looks like currently and I'm gonna go ahead and start attaching the side backs to the back pieces and then attach the side fronts to the center front. So here's what the center front of the bodice looks like and I would say it looks pretty accurate to the original picture. I mean, this is a little bit narrower but otherwise, now all I have to do is attach the side backs to the side fronts and then the outer portion of the bodice will be complete. Uh, once that's done, I think I'm going to repeat these same steps with the lining and then from there we will attach the lining and this portion of the bodice together. <music> Okay guys, so here is the lining stacked on top of the regular bodice and I have these strap pieces. So the course of action is to first sew these straps and then attach them to the upper bodice area of the outer bodice and then sew the lining and the outer bodice together, if that makes sense. My terminology is a little whack in this video, sorry about that. But yeah, that's the plan. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Okay guys, now that I've attached the straps, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the lining to the outer bodice. Okay guys, so we have finished the bodice and this is what it looks like. And now the plan is to go ahead and attach this to the skirt. All right, everyone, so we are almost done with this dress and all I have left to do is sew the back up with a zipper, attach the sleeves, and attach the straps to the back of the dress. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and attach these straps to the back of the dress, add in a zipper, and then the final step to this project is attaching the sleeves. <laughs> Okay guys, so I have gone ahead and sewn the zipper in. So now all I have to do is attach the straps, attach the sleeves, and hem the skirt. And we are done with this project. Okay guys, we are on the last portion of this dress and it has gone by really, really quick. So now we are gonna go ahead and start working on attaching the sleeves. final day of this project and I just finished attaching the second sleeve and now all we have left to do to complete this dress is to hem the base of the skirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna go ahead and head to Spain for the final result. Mi corazón simplemente se asombra. 